All right, working on the old white 2105 air conditioning. So I sprung a leak right here. The uh, high pressure line leaving the compressor going to the condenser had a coil here. I think it got nicked when I put the engine back in this thing and was putting everything back on. So it sprung a leak, all the Freon came out. This is an old 20-year-old um, system. We went to a junkyard, got a sand and compressor. I sense this got replaced last year. We pulled that out of a Saab car. We pulled the uh, condenser out of a Volvo. I do not know the make and model. And that's the problem I'm having because I want to match up this exact condenser because I see I've got a leak here. This has been a leak for a while. You can see that oil residue there. So as long as I got everything apart and I've got to make a new copper lineup, um, I am going to go ahead and try to replace the condenser. I may have to redo the copper line if I can't get the exact thing. Now these are, so this is made with just a home flaring tool, you know, 45 degree flare fitting. Everything now when they switch to R134 um, went to an O-ring fitting because they said of a smaller molecule in the R134 than the R12. It was more prone to leak, supposedly, with the um, with the um, R R12 uh, um, style refrigerant. So, so that's where I'm at right now is trying to replace, trying to find match up a condenser. And then, because um, I want to stick with the old system and trying to find one based on dimensions. You know, we put this in here because the original condensers on these early white tractors were mounted up on top of the cab there. And they had these three little electric motors with fans blowing through the condenser. And that's a really bad environment for them. Those fans would short out all the time. They'd short your whole electrical system out. Of course, part of this was they had a pretty small um, alternator. These things only came with a 63 amp alternator on them too, which was stupid. So that'd make those things stop working. Plus exposure to the weather didn't help at all either. So that's where I'm at here is trying to um, improve this. Um, get a new condenser for this and get back to business on it. Uh, I've got a few days here of not doing hay. I've tried to already look around, you know, online, not having any luck. So I'm just going to take this out. I'm going to take it to my auto parts and or may take it to an auto body shop because they've got old catalogs where they can look through and maybe match something up. But it it apparently is off, you know, the most I can remember, we pulled it out of a Volvo car. and But we never, and it was a buddy of my dad's, good friend of my dad's who's dead now, is the guy that he built this whole system. We had messed around for years screwing with us. You know, had the big rubber hoses. It had a, a compressor here. And it just, every time we'd fix a leak, we'd have another leak. And with this tractor, you really need air conditioning working in this thing because the cab, the tapered cab, is kind of like a greenhouse in there. Okay, so biggest thing is a lot of these, I haven't been able to find one with 45 degree flare fittings yet. And a lot of them don't have the tubes coming back in a lot of them have the ports the entry and exit port here on the um on the side i don't have enough room for that here so i guess uh just go old school and see if they can match it up with uh old catalogs got a guy an old timer it's got a body shop and i know they deal in trying to buy stuff all the time they said they still got the old catalogs and uh We'll see. I'll see if my auto parts can find something first. But the, all these uh, parts places I called online, you know, that are online, they uh, they want a part number. They apparently have no way to look up by dimensions at all. So, all right, we'll see what happens.
Well, I settled on dropping it off at a collision shop. And they've got the old catalogs. They're going to try to look it up. Nobody else could look it up. So, um, I'm get a condenser at least close with the old 45 degree flare fittings. So I have to remake new copper lines and you know, that's fine. That sand and compressor, you know, it's got the regular lines, but it'll be a few days.